What's up, what's up everyone? In this video, we're gonna go through my top 12 custom GPTs that I actually use from doing SEO research, content repurposing, business growth, healthy recipes to doing traction like entrepreneur operating system. There's a lot to unpack here, so let's go ahead and jump into it. Please like and subscribe to our channel. And welcome back. So we're gonna go through the top 12 list here. So here are the top 12 that I've got. Um, so let's go ahead and jump into a few of these and then I'll show you a few of the ones that I've actually made on my end. So the first up we have Dolly. This is a, a custom GPT that is actually created by OpenAI. So you can turn any kind of prompt into an image. Make me an image for social media marketing for Let's look at my agency here at catalystbrandgroup.com. And I'm curious, let's say, making me an image for social media marketing for, let's just do my URL. So this custom GPT is created by OpenAI to help you create any images that you want. So as you can see here, it's loading to create this image. Now, using AI, there's other uh, AI tools out there like Midjourney um, or Stable Diffusion to also create images, but Dolly I have found to be pretty useful. So here are two images designed for social media marketing for catalystbrandgroup.com. So let's change it up a little bit and try to do one for like our SEO services. So I went ahead and pasted in um, some content from my SEO page and I said, can you make it more oriented around SEO services for local business owners? And let's go ahead and see what it comes up with. But as you can see here, there's uh, awesome prompts that you can put in here. The more detailed you are, the better. Um, actually, if you come into um, ChatGPT and just type in here, uh, um, give me a prompt for SEO marketing services that I can use for creating a Dolly image and use this information to create the prompt to create the prompt. So you can actually go in right into a normal chat GPT instead of a custom GPT. So I'm using the chat GPT four which is the paid plan, and you will need a paid plan, a pro plan of OpenAI's ChatGPT to be able to access all the custom um, GPTs. Okay, so we have the prompt here. Now we can go back to Dolly. So yeah, some of these are pretty generic, like digital images, but let's go ahead and try to do this prompt. So visualize a dynamic and professional digital marketing scene representing Catalyst Brand Group's SEO services. Large vibrant screen displays a graph showing significant growth. Yeah, pretty good. So let's see what it comes up with. And yeah, better image. So as you can see, the more detailed you can get in the prompts, the better the output. All right, after creating some image, uh, images, let's go in here and look at the uh, SEO GPT by WriteSonic. WriteSonic is a great tool that I have used for custom AI tools in the past, but they created a keyword research GPT. So what topic or keyword do we want to research? Um, let's do probably something around um, local, uh, local lead gen for a business. Do okay. I'm ready to assist with your keyword research. Please provide me with a specific topic or keyword. So let's say I am a HVAC company in Columbus, Ohio. So it's saying keyword research wants to talk to tools. So this is their back end. I'm going to go ahead and confirm. So this is a tool I like to use for doing yeah keyword research. I also have developed uh, my own custom GPT, which you'll see here in a little bit but it is going through the action now to make this happen. So here we have relevant keywords for HVAC company in Columbus, Ohio. So we have HVAC Columbus, Ohio, 1600 searches, air conditioning, Logan, um, Logan's heating and cooling, 
So uh, best HVAC companies in Columbus. So now you have, as a business owner, an opportunity to use a custom GPT like this to get your keywords. And now you can optimize your website uh, with these keywords. And I'll show you in a custom GPT here a little bit later of what you can do to actually grab these keywords and use them now. Um, so the other one I really like to use is um, not just for TikTok, but this is the trending TikTok hashtags finder tool. So this is something uh, that you can use to find hashtags on particular things. So, so after I typed in the ChatGPT uh, hashtag, it is pulling out some of the top ones that I can now add into my post. So great uh, opportunity to use this, yeah, for uh, doing posts on social media for your business or just personally that you're doing. And now you can add that right into those posts that you're working on publishing. Then the next one we have is Content Helpfulness and Quality SEO Analyzer. So this one is that helps you evaluate well web content helpfulness, relevance, and quality for targeted queries based on Google's guidelines. So let's go to uh, my personal website, which is uh, thejasonflagel.com, and I'm gonna just probably drop in my URL here. So I said, here's my website to assess, and it says, great, thank you for providing. Could you also tell me the specific search query you are targeting for this content? This will help me assess the relevance and helpfulness of your content. So I typed in business growth strategy, business growth expert. And now if I have any competitor URLs that you would like me to compare against, please provide them. This will now enable a comprehensive analysis. I'm not sure who Jeremy is, um, but I am going to go ahead and use his website as my competitor. So having reviewed both websites, I will now evaluate them based on Google's content quality questions and provide insights for improvement. Your website helpfulness and people satisfaction seems to align there's a mix of detailed articles and testimonials the quality better site is rich in content site has a unique approach recommendations for mine is to enhance the content depth add more in-depth articles increase multimedia elements more videos interactive content yeah very true uh, <laughs> i will definitely be the first to admit that highlight expertise, improve mobile experience, and add in more regular updates. So very cool tool. Yeah, I really like this one a lot. Again, for when I'm working with clients or my own business projects that I've got, I can use this tool to jump in and get recommendations right from uh, Google on making improvements. And then Healthy Chef. So this one is a great uh, tool to use for creating recipes. So it's starting the action. It's communicating with Spoonacular. There's no specific recipes labeled for that. I can suggest a recipe that al aligns with the uh, general guidelines. How about a recipe for a simple grilled chicken salad? Yep, that looks good. And there is a grilled chicken salad image that it made. Would you like the detailed recipe? Got the ingredients and now the instructions. So yeah, this is a great custom GPT to do um, like healthy living, uh, which is great. Now let's jump into some of the business ones that I really, really like. So Traction GPT, uh, for those not familiar with Traction, um, so EOS Traction. So this is a uh, great book here. It's the Entrepreneur Operating System. The book is called Traction, um, but they, this is one of the most effective ways I found to lead um, a team for a business owner. So now I can use this to like basically do um, quarterly planning. So I asked, how should I plan out my quarters at my business uh, using EOS? So planning out your quarters is a structured process that focuses on creating clarity, alignment, and momentum within your organization. So you want to set the contact uh, contacts with your vision, traction, organizer. Identify the quarterly rocks, so the most important priorities for the next 90 days. So regular meeting, uh, weekly meetings the, to review the progress, identify and solve any issues. Scorecard development, key metrics that provide insights into the company's health, issue list management. So yeah, when I'm working with my team uh, or client teams, uh, this is a great GPT that I use to just ask questions and kind of do planning based on their situation. And the next one I have, um, and this one is one that I created that's really, really powerful. Um, content AI, I created this one. Uh, it's a step-by-step -step guide to help create tailored content marketing strategies uh, for your business. So tell me about your business. Great. Uh, let's tailor a content marketing strategy for your specific needs. We'll go 
step by step to create a plan that resonates with your target audience, drives engagement, and enhances your brand presence. So define your target audience, set clear goals, audit existing content, content ideation and planning, choose the right channels, create a content calendar, develop high quality content, so answering all of these questions then will pop out a very detailed content marketing plan. Uh, I've done uh, millions and millions of views in the content marketing and content production process that I've done over the years with companies. So now I've trained an AI tool to help me go through this and help you go through this process too. So content AI is a great way to help do like content marketing plans. Then we have the SEO enhancer GPT. So this is one of my custom GPTs that I created to help do detailed SEO research and expert content creation recommendations. Uh, ask questions below to improve the SEO. So I said, give me SEO recommendations and improvements for uh, thejasonflagel.com. Based on the review of the site, here are some SEO recommendations. Page title and meta description. Ensure that each page has a unique and descriptive title. Header tags. Make sure to utilize these to structure the content. Mobile optimization. Make sure the website's fully optimized for mobile devices, loading speed, internal linking, alt text for images. So yeah, again, very basic SEO best practices, but now the, these are things I can take and immediately go in and make updates. So for your business, you can drop in the same link and now you have um, a perspective on what needs to be done or fixed. And then the next stage of this actually that I developed was an SEO AI agent. So an AI a assistant to help with your SEO research and provide the top uh, SEO data analysis. So it seems that there's no specific information and that's because I have uh, detailed SEO kind of uh, documents that I fed hit this, how it does that process. Uh, here's based on my knowledge that I can guide you in how to approach this keyword. So start by using SEO tools. Uh, Ahrefs usually is a really good one to do or Neil Patel's Uber Suggest. Analyze the search engine results page, uh, do competitor analysis. So yeah, pretty good here as a good starting point uh, to go through. And um, then you can kind of take this and again, optimize the SEO. So I do a lot of SEO work for companies all around the world and having a tool like this to like get me started and help do some of the research is, is great. Every business should be doing SEO uh, in my opinion. And now using AI, it makes things a lot more efficient. We have bizgrowth.ai. Um, so bizgrowth is an AI guide for online business success. So ask any questions to make improvements for online business. So how can I increase traffic to an online store? What are some cost-effective marketing strategies? My online course, I have an AI for sales and marketing online course. So let me go ahead and ask it. So to grow my business offering AI and chat GPT course for sales and marketing, I can leverage several strategies. So doing SEO, optimize the website for search engines to increase visibility. Yep, very true. Content marketing, develop engaging and informative content related to AI in sales and marketing. Blog posts, white papers, case studies. Yep, exactly. Everything I've been doing to help promote the course too. Social media marketing, uh, utilize social media platforms to promote the course. Email marketing as well. Webinars and online workshops. Yep, I actually have a webinar here uh, for this that I developed on the top uh, free AI tools to use. Uh, affiliate marketing and partnerships partner with influencers, bloggers, online courses that can complement mine, doing paid ads, leveraging the testimonials and reviews, online, other online communities and forums, limited time discounts, uh, optimize the page. Uh, actually use this tool for some of the e-commerce companies that I work with too. I developed this out to help. Um, it's trained on all of my business growth information and processes I've built over the years. So very very powerful tool to, to use to grow businesses. And then uh, Catalyst Growth GPT. So over the years, I've developed a process called the Catalyst Growth Formula in working with companies. So this GPT helps do growth marketing plans and different strategies to help a business grow based on like that process. I'm going to do uh, Jack C. Wilson Roofing Company and Jack C. Wilson Roofing. If you watch this, um, yeah. I don't mean to uh, put you on the spot or anything, but I just found, yeah, this to use as an example. So to grow your business, such as Jack C. Wilson Roofing, you can apply several strategies from Russell Brunson's Traffic Secrets. 
here's a structured approach based on the key secrets. So your dream customer, identify the dream customer. For a roofing company, this might be homeowners, real estate developers, or contractors. Discover where they are. This could include home improvement forums, local community groups, real estate websites. Create a compelling content. Uh, create compelling hot content that hooks the audience and offers them um, some attractive character or brand persona. Work your way in, buy your way in. Uh, organic and paid strategies, yeah, so community discussions, SEO, paid ads to get uh, more visibility. Uh, traffic that you own, so communicate with people on an email list or some kind of customer or previous customer database. So yeah, there is a lot here that this Catalyst Growth GPT does to help businesses grow. Uh, this is over... Uh, uh, 10 years of experience in working with different organizations and businesses of the best practices uh, to get the results that they're looking to get. Literally just found a website and put it in and there is so much value uh, that can be uh, gained from using a tool like this. And my last one is exploring the sales.ai. This is a great AI tool uh, to help with sales. So this is trained on the top sales insights from the top sales leaders in the industry. So any sales or lead questions, um, we can get expert insights from that really powerful tool to use. And yeah, I definitely recommend checking this out. Um, you know, sales um, to sell is to serve as Zig Ziglar said. So having a tool like this to help you better sell and serve other people is really, really powerful. So let's keep it with the roofing. Um, I said, how can I improve the sales process for this company? And uh, to improve a sales process, uh, specializing in roofing services, you wanna understand the target market. So understand the specific needs and preferences of homeowners. Yep, very important. Have an effective online presence. Um, I think the statistic is up to 70% or more now. Um, people will search for a company and look at uh, the website online reviews before deciding to actually work with someone. So having an effective online presence is really important. Lead generation, uh, what's the online and offline channels to generate leads? Uh, what's the customer service look like? What kind of educational content is there? Follow up and relationship building, the pricing. So yeah, this is a detailed step-by-step -step process on improving sales. So some of the best content that I've ever learned from, a lot of other sales content I've developed and refined uh, this this tool to be able to help assist sales. Any kind of objections that you might have with like a, a lead or something, you can come in here and ask it in this AI tool, the sales.ai will actually be able to help you respond to that. Yeah, these are my top 12 custom GPTs. I have a lot more uh, that I haven't gotten into yet. So I'll probably do some more videos here pretty soon and walk through, um, yeah, a lot of these custom GPTs. But I have found for every single aspect of my life um, or even in my business, I will create a custom GPT to help improve it. I have one too um, that is like a billionaire uh, wisdom GPT. So I've trained this uh, chat, uh, this AI chat tool to be able to um, reference books and favorite books of billionaires so I can uh, constantly be learning from them which is really really powerful these are my top yeah 12 custom GPTs if you have other ones that you really like go ahead and drop it down in the comment section below I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this um, and yeah if you have other GPTs that you your you or your business would like to have or benefit from I'd love to create that for you I just developed out um, a new chat bot for different businesses Businesses. In this case, I developed it out for solar uh, solar panel companies. So here is an example of this. I just released this on my YouTube channel to do lead generation uh, for solar companies. Now any business co uh, can use a chat bot like this, but it actually, uh, you drop in the address of the home and tell it the electric bill. And it will, as you can see here, output all of that information. It's trained on the business. And then it will ask for their name and contact info and drop it right into to our CR, uh, CRM. So you can take tools like these custom GPTs and now build that into an automated tool for your business to help with the sales and lead gen, marketing processes uh, to help yeah, make um, automated improvements, increase efficiency, and ultimately you're able to make a lot more money you know, on autopilot. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, again, if you guys have any questions, go ahead and drop it down in the comment section below. 
and to access custom GPTs, if you don't already know or haven't experienced custom GPTs, you will need the OpenAI ChatGPT Plus plan to be able to access them. Stay tuned for some of my other upcoming videos. Check out some of the other videos on my channel. I release a lot of AI and uh, business growth information on my channel. With that, thanks for tuning in. Uh, remember to keep moving forward, and I will catch you next time. Bye-bye.